Hey guys, so today I have an awesome um, thrift, blah, 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 I can't even talk, thrift haul for you. I went to Goodwill and I went to my little local uh, thrift store and I found some really good stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead, dig right in here and I have a bag in front of me and I will try and let you know like where I got everything from. So these are some stencils. I had to roll them up because this day I took a walk and I walked to my little, I need a little red spot on my eye. Um, I walked to my thrift store and um, so I had to put everything in like my backpack, which I usually carry with me when I walk. And so I had to roll them up. So they're kind of rolled up. But anyway, they are these stencils. So it comes with three of them. And I thought this would be good. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but. My theme for this fall, I think, is going to be checkered. So I thought these would work out for like little decor pieces. And there was a three of them for 50 cents. And I thought that was a great deal. Now I just have to figure out how to straighten them out again. Probably lay some heavy stuff on them, straighten them out. So I got those. I'm actually going to put this stuff over here. Then, okay, so this is an amazing. Uh, so I got this stamp. And, um, it was $3. This thing is huge. Like, this thing is so, it's big. It's big. I mean, it's on my face. Look how huge this is. It was $3. And if you know how much stamps cost, they are, um, expensive. Sorry, my phone is doing something crazy. And, um, I love it. It's just like the script. And this would be great for paper, like when you make paper or anything like that, journals, anything like that, this is going to give you that vintage, really nice, look, this looks brand new, like, I don't even think it's been used, because look how clean it is, there's like no ink on it, maybe once, I don't know, there's like some red ink right there, that's it, um, it's like brand new, so I love it, and I can't wait to use it, so I got that one, like I said, that was three dollars, then I found these little wood pieces, uh, and I bought them more for the little pig that's in there. Um, there was, I think there's two of them in there, maybe one. I don't know. There's just a couple of different shapes. There's some cats in there, so I might give those to somebody to do some Halloween stuff. But that was, these were 75 cents, and there's like six or seven pieces in there. So I thought that was good. Then I found some wood, like, plaque signs. This one's really heavy. This is more, I think, like an MDF board. But look at the, it's like, got the designs. It's kind of dirty, but it's heavy. And then they had this one. And it's just a wood plaque. This one was 50 cents. It's a 7 by 9 That one was 50 cents. And this one doesn't say what size it is, but it's just a little bit bigger than the 7x9, so maybe 8x10, I guess. And this one, like I said, is heavy, and it was 75 cents. So I got those two. Then I found these. So I got two of them. Obviously, I don't need two key rings, but... I thought these were a good deal. They were each 75 cents. They're brand new, still in the wrapper. So I said, you know what? Why not? I can make them, give them as gifts, anything like that. And I got these. These were a little bit pricey. They were $1.50, which is more than I usually pay for anything like this. And I'm not really sure what they're for because they're just kind of flat. So I don't really know what they're for. But I thought they'd make cute little feet or like step, uh, yeah, feet for like a pedestal or something like that. Um, so I got those just because I thought they would be useful. Then I found uh, some more stamps. These were $2 and this came with two of them in there. And it's another one with this, you know, same type of thing. Um, it made me laugh so much to send all my love for the, I don't know, it's, a, it's like cut up, but, um, I just like it. There's a little compass. These are going to be perfect for any type of vintage, anything. So I grabbed those. Then I grabbed these two unfinished wood pieces. Um, I think
think they're to cover up like outlets or whatever, but um, they're unfinished wood. So I mean, I think I can use them for obviously for something else. They were 50 cents each and those worked out great. I think they're going to work out. I don't know what happened there, but my phone was doing something crazy. But anyway, I think those are going to work out great for some DIYs. They're wood, so I mean, obviously I'm going to find something to do with them. And the last time I went to this thrift store, they had a set of these. So I grabbed this one. This was a dollar for, um, there are one, two, three, four, five of them. So it's the complete bag. These are the ones from um, Hobby Lobby. So I grabbed them, little cute little candlesticks. So many things you can do with those. Then I found this cute little watering can. It was 50 cents. It has a candle in it, but, and I like that it has this little bee etched into it on both sides. I'll probably paint this a different color because I don't really like that green, but I like that little bee etched in there. So that's cute. And then I found a bunch of stickers and they were 50 cents each. And I just really liked these because they were like fall and the leaves. They really match, you know, anything fall. And then there was these two Christmas ones. And they're the same. Both of them, you know, are the same. Then I got... I don't know what that noise is. Um, then I found... I love the Life Lesson books by Max Lucado. I have, like, each book of the Bible. I'm trying to collect all of them. Little by little, I keep finding one here, one there. Um, this one is the touch of the master's hand studies on Jesus. So adding this to my collection of the ones that I already have. Then I found this, um, construction drawings and detailed details for interiors. And I thought this would just be cute to make like journal pages. I love like this. I just, you know, I'm obviously I'm not going to use them for what they're intended. I am going to cut the book up and use pages out of it. For those of you who don't like that, I apologize, but I bought the book. So I'm going to use it the way that I want to. And I just think it would make like good pages in a journal or anything like that. So I grabbed that one. Then at this one, this is the Bible's for mission. So every time you go, you can get a Bible for free. This is actually one of my favorite Bibles. Now I have one and I love it. Um, and I was just glad to find another one because these are pretty expensive. Um, and I just, I love this one. It's the New Living Translation and it's my favorite Bible. So I was just happy to see this one and then to get it for free, even better. So adding that one to my bookshelf. Then what's this? Taking Charge of My Life, Personal Essays by Today's College Students. I bought it just because I like the print of it. So I'm probably going to use the pages of this as well. And I found these little, um, oh, this is not from Bibles for Missions. This is from um, Paws. It's from the Humane Society here in my city. And these are just sheet protectors for a small three ring binder. And um, I have a three ring binder that I'm gonna be probably using for something other than like a journal or a planner like I had initially planned. So we'll see, I needed some of those because the ones that I have didn't fit in there. So I wanted those. Then I found these, which I thought would be cute for my junk journals. Again, I'm starting that. I love it. It's so relaxing. It's a creative brain dump. It helps you to just kind of be creative, but not stress out about like trying to figure out how perfect it's going to be. And if something matches and anything like that, you just go for it. And I thought this would be perfect for that. And 50 cents, I was like, sure, why not? So I got this big bag of wood pieces. Not really sure what all the pieces are. It was 50 cents. I bought it for those little hangers. Look at those. They're cute little hangers. Great for dollhouse minis. Um, so that's really the only reason that I bought it. And I'll figure out what to do with the wood pieces. <laughs> then I found these um, 
stickers. They were 50 cents and these are going to be good for my, my daughter who wants to start doing junk journals and stuff like that. So I figured if she wanted to break down one for every year of high school and kind of what she did every year, that would be good for her. So I got that one. Then I found this circle cutter. And, you know, why not? It was $1.99. And I can't draw a straight line or cut a straight, uh, even circle. So I thought that would be good. I don't know how to use it yet. It does have an extra blade right here. Everything, the pencil lead kind of flew out, but hopefully it still works. We'll see. But actually, I think this was 75% off the day that I went. The green was 75% off. So I didn't even pay $2 for it. So I got that. And then I found these two journals. Um, they're just old. Look how cool that is. I love it. I love it. I'm all for it. They actually gave them both to me for a dollar instead of a dollar each. So I love those. I love how old it is and vintagey and all that stuff. So I grabbed those. Then I found these notebooks and they're, um, they were $2.99 that day. Green was 75% off at Goodwill. So definitely less, you know, than a dollar for all three of them. And I, I just like how it's like that corrugated wood on this one. Each one of them is different. This one's black and this one is like a maroon and the pages inside are like a, that old, like beige kind of just looking kind of old and tea stained or whatever. So I got these. They don't say like what brand they are or anything, but I'm all about a notebook. I love notebook, paper, all that stuff. Tell me I'm a sucker for anything like that. Then I found these little inserts. These are for an album and I figured I can cut these and kind of add them to a junk journal. They were 50 cents for one. They had another one, but it was missing like one side of it. So I didn't get that one. Then I found these little wood, oh, it's just one, I think. It was just this little wood house, wood cut out, and it was a quarter, so I grabbed it. And then I found this bin, this little container full of beads. It was $3, um, but my daughter likes making jewelry, so it has all kinds of little beads in there, so I figured she would like that. So I got that for her. And then I found this bag of the little, what are these called, the little people? My son loves the little people, and this is $3 for this ba Ziploc baggie full of them. And so he'll like that. That's why I grabbed that, obviously. And then the, oh, no, there's something else in here. Let's see. Oh, oh man, I have another one too. I got this uh, box. It's prayers for my son. There's cards in here with different prayers in there. Then I also found one that was something like, encouraging prayer or scriptures for mothers but i have it i have it in my bin of stuff for my um journals because i was using it so yeah so i got that and then i found these um inner fold dry wax papers they were a dollar 99 75 percent off that day a friend of mine is trying to show me how to do something i just haven't had a chance to like go you know go over there and work on it I think this will work out perfectly for the project that we're going to work on. So I grabbed these. And if not, I mean, you know, it's wax paper. So that'll, you can always find something to do with them. All right. And then the last things that I found, these are, I'm probably the most excited about these. I found these composition notebooks. There were three packs of them, just like this. I'm not going to pull them all out, but I did pull one out just to see, and it's just lined paper. And then I looked up the brand, and they sell these at stores like Staples and stuff for a dollar each, even if it's just these little 20 sheets. They're like 99 cents each. And I bought each pack, I think, has... um. I don't know, 24 of them. 
of these in here. And they were, this is pricier than usual and anything that I usually buy, but five bucks for 24 of them when they're each 99 cents, I couldn't pass it up. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Definitely would be good for like some traveler's notebooks, even though they're a little bit big, but I think they'll work. I don't know. We'll see what I'm going to do with these. But I thought that was an excellent deal for five bucks each. Like I said, they sell for 99 cents each um, at stores. So definitely a good deal. And <laughs> I think that's it. That's all I got from the thrift stores. Wasn't a huge haul, but it was some fun stuff, I think. So that is it for that haul guys thank you so much for watching if you are new here welcome um i hope you hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell and that is it until next time be blessed and be the reason someone smiles bye guys